What's up guys so welcome back this is now your boy again i'm slink how you guys doing welcome to another crazy video good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from and uh, today is sunday guys i hope you guys went to church you pray for your loved ones your family your friends most especially myself because of course i regard myself as among your loved ones i need your prayers guys and uh, we have so much to discuss today guys uh that has to do with sabinus nigeria popular comedian sabinus was involved in a car accident recently and also we're going to talk about rema and aria star dating trying to kiss on stage in new york city then we're going to also check out queen elizabeth issue surrounding our uh, death and also our saki as well many other issues we're going to be discussing in this video so please make sure you leave your comment below and uh, try as much as possible to leave your contribution uh, constructive no insult to uh, try as much as possible there are some people who cannot write a sentence without putting a uh, insultive word into it we'll try change now well we're going to talk about rema first you know the nigeria singers rema and arasta are currently making headlines over the body chemistry that happened between them on stage at New York City show. Firstly, Rema is going big now in the United States of America. While as soon as you know, he collaborated with Selena Gomez on Calm Down Remix, which was released on Selena Gomez platform. And three days, the video already has 10 million views already. Well, because it's posted on Selena Gomez platform, well, that's the reason why it has 10 million views already on YouTube. <laughs> Three days. Well, let's see. I know Rema would definitely cash out, but that's not our discussion here. Here, we're talking about Aria Star and Rema. A day and item. Mm. A day and item, guys. You know, it's rare to see Nigerian musicians dating themselves, but, but over the past few years, this has. It has become a new thing, a new normal for Nigeria artists to be dating themselves. If I were a star and Rema are dating, I think it's a very, very nice combination. It's a nice combination. And these stars date themselves majorly because to like improve themselves when it comes to fame and uh, the hype around it, talking and all those stuff. No, that is why some stars actually date themselves. But uh, Aria Star and Rema, I do not think they are dating, honestly. I do not think they are dating. I think it's just normal. Because the video points like they were trying, they hugged, and their face, you know, were, they, they weren't trying to kiss, they just coincident. So they quickly just adjusted themselves. They weren't trying to kiss. I don't think there's anything between Aria Star and Rema. After all, Rema was even seen with one uh, upcoming singer, a USA a citizen. And, uh, you know, I think Rema is an item with that girl for now. But with Aria Star, I do not think so. But if Rema is dating Aria Star or Aria Star dating Rema, it's a good combination. It's going to improve their fame and uh, everything. Also, then, check out Sabinus. Sabinus, as at yesterday, stroke this morning, there, there was a secret, like a, a, a video of Sabinus visiting an unknown location to do a little traditional wedding. Someone saw his Benz, his, the new Benz he bought. Then he traced, you can see the video, traced him and saw him kneeling down. He was kneeling while they were praying. I don't know what they were doing, but it seems as if he was doing traditional wedding because that is exactly how we usually do in Nigeria when it comes to traditional wedding. So it seems like that. Then, big up to him because he wanted, I, I, I do not think he wanted anything to be out on social media, but quite unfortunately, Few hours after that, I think he was heading back home. He had a very, very serious car accident. In fact, the front of that Mercedes Benz is completely damaged. So, well, thank God nothing happened to him. He is safe though. He made a video and he said he's safe. And uh, that's the video, guys. A 
Okay, guys. No worries. Sabino is safe and sound. No weapon. No, nothing that happen. I'm safe and sound. It's not easy. Oh. Imagine when driving on your own lane. When I don't say me, I need to bring my things online. Even when I bought the car, I did not post it, so it's not my life. My life is comedy, not posting. God is in charge. God is in charge. God is in charge. Not in the album. I give thanks to God for everything. Man, this is my first time of having an accident. I never get an accident before. My first time. And this one, I don't even know how it happened. How another car goes just from another place. Like, imagine you're coming this way. Car that is going this way comes from that way and Omar. It is fine, and as you can see, he's trying as much as possible to explain what went down. And uh, I think the person who, the person that uh, he was involved with in that accident. That's the person that is wrong. So I don't know if he's going to pressure the person to pay for his car. Because that car is a brand new car. It's a brand new car. Or should I say Tokumbo, Nigeria. We know we, we have our own Nigeria brand new. We have our own Nigeria brand new. So let me say it's a brand new car. Hmm? The car is a brand new car. And uh, he just bought it like uh, less than two months ago. And now he had an accident. Like the front of that car is completely destroyed well <laughs> thank god for him oh. after little traditional wedding the next day is an accident oh thank god for sabino's life oh. leaving your uh, your secret traditional wedding and getting involved in a car accident well that guy is extremely lucky so let's talk about an african man living in valencia spain he's a good samaritan but sometimes being good there doesn't really pay so this man is an illegal immigrant living in Spain and he went out, I don't know where he was going, maybe going to his job or going to see uh, sit someone. He saw an envelope on the ground. So he picked this envelope and inside this envelope, there's, uh, there's money amounting to 4,200 or something euro. Instead of him to take the money for, for himself or better still just leave it there, or take it and go and use it to sort out one or two bills. This man was, you know, being a good person, he decided to be like, this money is not mine. I need to return it to, his, to the owner. So you know what he did? He decided to go to the authorities, to go to the police, to hand the money over to them. So the police asked him, where are your documents? Where are your documents, your resident documents? And they discovered that he didn't have nothing, like no document at all. You know what they did to this man? They deported him. A good Samaritan. Saw money on the ground. Decided to pick that money and hand it over to the police because he didn't want to use that money because that money doesn't belong to him. And guess what? This guy was deported for being good. It's not as if the police or the authorities are wrong for deporting him. All. But I think uh, we, should, we should be human beings. We should be human for once. Understand? Just be human. We know there are rules set out. But be human. This man has done well. He's an astounding citizen. And because of the little deals he has done, the little uh, goodness he has done, he deserves a reward. At least, do not deport him. At least, just enroll him in an institution that will give him the process on how to get papers. Do not deport him. Now you are telling other people that, oh, if you see any money or if you see any crime, or anybody doing something that will harm the citizens of that country, do not report if you do not have papers. Because if you report, and that thing might save life, you might end up getting penalized for that and sent back to your country. This man was deported for simply being good. 
for simply being good, for simply saying that I cannot take this money for myself. I want to give it out to the owner. If I cannot find the owner, I will take it to the police. He took it to the police and guess what? He was deported. Just like that. <laughs> this kind of person will come back here and his brother will tell him, Mumu man, you saw 4,000 something uh, euro in, in, uh, uh, in an envelope and you are taking it to the police. See where, see where your goodness don't do yourself. See where your goodness has done, it has brought you, deported. <laughs> man, it's wrong, honestly. We should be human beings now. That man deserves to be, to be uh, rewarded. Of course, the police are not wrong for deporting him. Or the police are not wrong, but let us be human. Let us be human. Hmm? I want to also check out this video. Honestly, I think this is the most casual engagement video I have ever seen. No stress, no, no doubt of being turned down, no fear, nothing. Just simple casual engagement. Fine, yes, it's beautiful. Put it in your finger. I think concerning engagement finger, put it direct to marriage finger. Wow, I think. Yes. I shall small wow. Wow. Small wow, don't talk too much. Shall small wow. Wow. Say thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's not easy to engage somebody. There's no point in down. That is the way real African men engage people. Say thank you. Thank you. Say small wow. Heartedly support that guy. See, the time you kneel down for a woman is gone. It's gone. We shouldn't be kneeling down anymore. Huh? After all, we're still going to pay the bills. After all, we're still going to take care of the kids and then for the rest of our life. And after all, the children that we're going to train will benefit the woman first before we're thinking about the man. And it might be that even before the children start making money, the man is already gone. We have already wasted years hustling. That is why you see a 32 years old guy will go and marry a 20 years old girl. And yet, you see Neil down to engage. Gone are all those days. Engage your woman. Where we have seen how humiliating some people, some guys have as, as uh, put, their, put themselves through in shopping malls, market, public area while trying to engage their girlfriend. Sometimes they get slapped get pushed to the ground and so on come on man it's about time i love this kind of engagement we should start learning we should start learning guys learn and to end this video let's talk about asaki well there is this lady a lawyer asaki reached out to her on on on, uh, on instagram few times ago and asaki asked for a number and this lawyer rejected Asaki. According to the lawyer, now now Asaki is a big guy. It's a big guy dropped an album occupying top ten Nigeria chart. And guess what? This girl said, "She be I for don't give give her my number. We would have still be friend even if I wasn't interested." The lady said no to Asaki. Asaki said, come on, let me check for, the, for what they said. Asaki said, please give me your number. They said, not really. You were everywhere on campus. And that isn't my thing. I understand it's an artist thing, but will not everyone likes it. He said, I, I feel you on that. Maybe I should ask again now. Can I have your number? She said, I had lady on the Cindy page and I like it so, so I downloaded it. Nothing attached. Not trying to exactly make friends. Well, some good guys are still there. Forget, Asaki, you'll be artist, but I don't like you. I like your music. Man, some good guys. See, uh, the guy that is dating this girl, uh, all and tight. Because she's not moved by an artist. She can be moved by an artist's song. Huh? But not by the artist. There are guests like that. I like your song, boo. I can buy your song, groove to your song. But you, the artist, I don't like you.
There are people like that. Well, even if this girl is cashing cruise, eh, I understand where she's coming from and I support her. So guess what? Say, oh, see you now, Saki don't be. Even if I can like big, we call. Now by big, it's not by big. They don't do you big pass with the big. The girl don't like you, don't like you. It's not by big. Yeah, there are some guests. Eh, even if you get money pass, eh, you, you are much more famous than Michael Jackson. Eh, they won't like to hang out with you. That, that is just some some people in this world. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care, and those people are rare. Very, very rare. And you and they are there. They are there. They say, okay, why now nah, Saki don't be big? What we are being won't call. Saki is doing fine, but that one I own pocket. Uh, he still gets rejected. People get rejected a lot. You know how many girls I don't see. You know how many girls don't reject me. Girls that have rejected me way more than girls I have seen. Rejection is good, guys. You know.